the jury as human beings, that we have not a right but an obligation as good citizens to expose Pine Gap. We're going to say we didn't go to Pine Gap to commit a crime but to expose a crime. We'll be hopefully appealing to their good conscience and I hope in the end we'll be found not guilty. You law-abiding citizens, listen to this song. Laws were made by people, and people can be wrong. Once unions were against the law, and slavery was fine. Women were denied the vote, and children worked the mines. The more you study history, the less you can deny it. A rotten law stays on the books till folks with guts defy it. Have you been to jail for justice? I want to shake your hand. Sitting in and laying down our ways to take a stand. Have you sung a song for freedom or marched that picket line? Have you been to jail for justice? Oh, you're a friend of mine. Laws were meant to serve us, and so were the police. But when that system fails, it's up to us to speak our peace. It takes eternal vigilance for justice to prevail. So get courage from your convictions and let them haul you off to jail. Have you been to jail for justice? I want to shake your hand. Sitting in and laying down our ways to take a stand Have you sung a song for freedom or marched that picket line? Have you been to jail for justice? Will you go to jail for justice? Have you been to jail for justice? Oh, you're a friend of mine We took it upon ourselves to respond to the government's appeal for citizens to be alarmed and alert. And we said, we are alarmed and alert. We're alarmed about this dodgy, spooky spy base in the middle of the desert and the fact that nobody knows in Australia what it does. We are alarmed about that. It's all about speaking truth to power from our point of view. George Orwell said, in times of universal deceit, speaking the truth becomes a revolutionary act. And this is the way that we see um, our action in our citizens' inspection, speaking the truth. What do you say to somebody who has never taken direct action in terms of explaining to them why this is a valid or invalid form of protest? Well, for people who are, have any concern at all about the, the way the world is headed, <laughs> about violence in the world and the war, wars in the world, how have we beaten that in the past? What has worked? The only thing I would suggest that has worked is the tradition of non-violent direct action in the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr. and the civil rights movement, in the spirit of Gandhi, in the spirit of the people of the Philippines. And I can give dozens of examples of the way people power has come out to challenge the authorities, to challenge the truth, to challenge the warmongers, and won. And they've done it non-violently. So we're not new, we're not strange, we're not weird. We are just part of a long tradition of something that's worked time and time again. Donna, you're facing court with a number of other people. What can people do if they want to support you? Yeah, there's many things that people can do. So it would be fantastic if we travelled this journey together as a community of people who want to campaign on this issue, and that's certainly possible. I guess the first thing I can recommend is go to our website to see our list of things to do. And our website is pinegap6.org. Our first thing we're going to do is invite people to come to Alice Springs to be with us during the trial. We're going to create a temporary peace community and have a convergence at Pine Gap again on the middle weekend of the trial on June the 2nd. We're inviting everybody to come from anywhere to be with us. We have people like Dr Helen Caldercott coming to be with us during the trial and to, to be a guest speaker at a public meeting. Senator Kerry Nettle, I think, will be with us. Uh, many people will join us from around the country to both show solidarity to us and express their concern about Pine Gap. If people can't come to Alice Springs, there's still lots of things they can do. For example, write letters to their local MP and ask their local MP, what do you know about Pine Gap? The MP will quickly realise 
they're not allowed to know anything. People can also be writing letters to the editor, contacting their local media saying this is an issue for me and try to get um, some coverage for us during the trial. But we'd be very happy for anyone who would have any suggestions and ways that they can help us. Thank you very much for coming along and discussing the subject with us today. So that's it for tonight. Thank you.